Good evening, this is Sharon from Everything Beautiful Too. This evening, I would like to show you a quick freehand cutting. And some of you may wonder, do I have to use a bicep line? No, you don't have to use a bicep line. So this is what you do. You're going to have your fabric ready. All right. You're going to take the length. The length off the sleeve whatever length so say for instance we're working with 20 inches here so from top to bottom it's 20 inches here and remember in order to get the circumference or the arm curve you're going to have to measure the uh the armhole on the garment in order to get the arm the sleeve curve the arm the sleeve curve at the top here the way the sleeve is curved you're going to have to measure the armhole in the previous video it was nine inches so i will be using maybe 10 inches now so say for instance the person's um, arm hole on the garment is 20 inches half of it is 10 inches so you're just going to measure okay like that my some of my students always ask please how do you get the curve and i've actually developed a way here to show them how to get that curve all right so you can just cut it around and the 10 is right here okay the 10 is right here so the 10 inches is there so that is all and you can mark it all right with your chalk or whatever so that is the 10 inches so this is this here will fit the armhole and I will cut it and show you and I'm cutting half inch above that for the allowance so that is how you get your arm curve doesn't it look like an arm curve sure it does all right and now we are going to decide what if the width of the person when you measure from the tip of the shoulder to the nine inches what if it's bigger than the one the standard measurement which is 11 inches so we're actually going to be using um 15 inches here okay we're going to be using because this person say for instance this person has very thick arms so we're going to be using 15 inches there and then it's going to be a long sleeve so what if the person wrist is about 10 inches wide okay so you're going to paste this on the bottom of your sleeve and it's 10 inches then you're just going to maybe rule it or just cut it all right so we know my ruler is not here close by so you know that you'll have to do some allowance give it some allowance so that's the sleeve that's the end here i'm cutting it at the end there i'm going to fold here a little bit and i'm going to give it one inch allowance So this is our freehand sleeve. This is what our freehand sleeve is. So this would be our stitching line. So this is our freehand sleeve. So this is how you cut your sleeve freehand. Now, I am sorry that I make so many mistakes when I'm talking in my video um, you know my videos aren't really edited properly I just upload them I may do a little trimming and um, then I merge and I'll upload them you know I'm not that so you know very good at you know editing my videos and so sometimes I'll make mistakes okay and I don't know how to take them out so that is why you will hear me say certain things but i know that i do make mistakes okay so here you'd 
hear me say time the arm curve or the sleeve curve it's actually the sleeve cap okay it's the sleeve cap and for the arm where you would actually go to measure to get the dimensions here you know the measurement for the sleeve cap it's actually the arm hole or you could say the arm curve okay um so here it is we have the sleeve here and say for instance this is the right sleeve what you want to do is to take a little bit half inch away from here because at the front here so you take half inch away from the front here so that is how it's done all right and if you notice when I was doing the bottom I actually fold it up like this and there's a reason for that when you tend to cut the sleeve when you cut the sleeve and you don't fold it like that when you when you hold it to stitch it like that you have a problem with this end really lining up or aligning with hair and so the best way to cut your sleeve once you have enough fabric you no know, the fabric is long enough is to fold it off maybe about an inch and a half and um, cut your and cut it like this okay so it, when you're ready to stitch it goes back up and it's much easier it falls back in line with the end here and so, so that is the reason for me um, cutting it so thank you for watching and I hope uh you learn something here you know how to quickly do a freehand sleeve and please remember that um all measurements are different um, because all sizes we are all different sizes so don't be confused you know what to do if you're looking at this specific measurement what you do you measure the person you measure the person harm the length and the width you know where the person is comfortable or where you are comfortable um, sewing it for the person you know measuring it and sewing it for the person so that is how you arrive you're not going to find the standard measurement work for everybody so don't get yourself confused okay so thank you for watching and um, have a good evening